Yo, what is up? It has been a couple weeks since I have dropped a video, the last video that I was creating. I created it, but I forgot to post it. And then I started working on the car even more. And then I forgot to capture some content of me putting the car together. And the car, um, the motor's back in. It's almost completely ready to be wired back up. I'm still placing uh, some things like radiator fans, oil catch can lines. Um, turbo feed lines, so on and so forth. But the bay is painted. So I'm gonna turn this around, show you what we've been working with, and uh, show you what you've been missing. There she is, RV25, S14, fully loaded Mishimoto products, whole set turbo, 750cc injectors, grady intake manifold, go works, oil cap, so on and so forth. But what's cool is I've slowly and surely knocking it out. Uh, my whole set turbo that Mitch with MC Custom Coatings and Designs did all my powder coating for my valve covers, intake manifold, fuel rail, turbo housing, catch cans, power braces, radiator brackets, so on and so forth. But I've done a lot today as far as heat. I heat uh, heat wrapped my downpipe, installed the turbo. Oh, almost tripped. Um, installed the intake manifold, throttle body, throttle body cable bracket. Slowly getting all the nuts and bolts up there installed. Can't really see it very well. Got the alternator on, alternator bracket. Oh, we gotta focus a little bit. But she's coming together. Lots to do, still gotta place the oil cooler. Radiator wired it up, but it's, get, it's coming along. So one thing that um, I've done since the last video is the last video that I um, put out. We were sanding down the bay, getting ready to um, paint it. Um, I just finished the tube front end that night. A couple of days later, I had to do some uh, headlight brackets, so on and so forth. But I went ahead and I've gotten it painted. Um, I went ahead and I got the motor back in. Pretty much everything's installed. Um, what I have left to do is going to be things like you come here. Dad's making a YouTube video for his motor bills. You wanna come say hi? Who is it? Who is it? Everybody, come here, come say hi. Hi! Okay. So what's up? I said, wow! Hey, Dad! That's my boy, Zayden. Um, he enjoys hanging out in the garage with me all the time. He's trying to see. <laughs> but where I was uh, getting at is since the last video, we've done a lot as far as um, progress. The headlight brackets, um, intercooler brackets, radiator brackets, motor's been dropped in, all the accessories are installed besides the radiator, radiator fans and uh, oil cooler because I got to cut some of the oil cooler lines as far as the oil catch can lines too. Um, I need to place the oil catch can somewhere, mount it up. But as far as like fuel lines, everything else like that, it's all hooked up. Exhaust, fuel lines, style cable, belts, all nuts and bolts are tightened down. Got a couple little things left to do, and then after I finish those little things, I'll be able to um, relume the engine bay harness, which I'll show you what I'm gonna be relooming it with. I'm gonna relume it with this Power Braid Performance Wiring Wrap. Um, I got some for the interior, some for the motor bay, I mean engine bay. I want it to look as clean as possible. Um, and also, it's going to be as functional as possible. That way, if I need to get to something really quickly, um, I can just unplug it and I can replace it, so on and so forth. But, uh, yeah, it's coming along. I'm super pumped, super ecstatic, super thankful for uh, you know, all the help that I've had from some friends that came over and helped out. Um, some advice from some friends, you know, Chris, Lance, Blake, Michael, Tyler. Uh, just several friends, you know, that have given me some advice along the way. But it's, it's coming along great, and um, I can't wait to get it all finished up and hopefully get it started pretty soon. My wedding's in like 16 days. I would love to have it done before the wedding. That way I can go to the wedding and do some burnouts at the end of it whenever we're leaving. But I highly doubt that's going to happen just because I'm waiting on a couple things. Um, I need a new blow-off valve. I need my intercooler piping TIG welded. Um, my headlight bracket, I mean, my headlight assemblies are, they're, they're a little busted up. When I bought this car... The inside headlight brackets were gone, so they're jerry-rigged to fit. 
Um, so I'm going to be sourcing out a new set of headlights. That way I don't have to have something that looks just ghetto as can be whenever it's installed. Um, but as far as that, intercooler piping, blow off valve, um, oil cooler, radiator, radiator fans, oil catch can, trim the catch can lines, reloom the harness, plug it all up, fill it all fluids, and give it a start. I'll turn this camera around one more time, show what I've been working with, and I'm going to let you guys go. Dude, damn, Daniel. Look at that angle. Whoop, whoop. Okay, anyways, back to where I'm going. Yeah, all that nasty trash. Christmas trash, man. Christmas. I bet the trash man hates the day after Christmas because they got so much trash to pick up. But back to where we're at. There she is, slowly but surely. After we finish the engine, we get the hood on, the fenders on, everything settled in, cartooned and whatnot. We're going to be changing the exterior. Color the exterior is gonna change up. Can't really see inside here very well. But uh, yeah. There she is. Looking beautiful. I've busted my ass on this. May not be perfect, but I'm not a you know professional car builder. Just been building cars in my garage for 10 years and just having fun with it. So I got one more surprise for you guys, then I'm gonna let you go. Alright, so my Mishimoto radiator fans. And bracket, not bracket, but shroud. I can't get the fit between the motor and the Mishimoto radiator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck them right here. So let's see what I can do with it. All right, so modified the uh, dual electric Mishimoto fan shroud and installed it. And I also mounted my oil cooler. I think I figured out where I want it. Not 100% sure yet, but I'm still trying to make placements on it. But I'm gonna turn this around and show you. So, if you look, I got my Mishimoto radiator and my dual electric fans in my intercooler. Thinking about putting the oil cooler right there. What do you think? Hmm, I guess we'll see. So I promised you guys I had one more surprise for you. So I'm going to show you a little sneak preview of something pretty bad ass. It's going to be a part of the car. That was actually my Christmas gift. I'm super thankful. My fiance killed it. She knows me too well. And um, I'll turn this camera around and show you what it's about. But it goes well with uh, the current build. So here we go. She's got a custom grip royal. Custom etched. Colon Cancer Awareness Blue Steering Wheel that was made. The Cancer Ribbon by Grip Royal, 330 millimeter. Some custom engraving. It's gonna look bad to the bone inside the car with the color match cage. I love it. Say it with me now, fuck cancer. <laughs> 